As an example of the product of its time, the United States was still divided amongst racial lines. Uh, as I mentioned, the African Americans were relegated to remedial labor and to their own units because of the, the race, the color of their skin. Uh, immigrants, on the other hand, also posed a different problem. When the draft was initiated, at least 12% of draftees were foreign born. This does not count the ones that are American born that did not speak English, whether they're first generation or uh, any other examples. Right? The United States felt that these soldiers, these alien soldiers, were not American enough yet, especially when they'd understand the nuances of American English. And so the, a lot of the leadership, the training leadership, had a problem directing their orders to this group because they didn't speak a correct amount of English or they weren't American enough in, in, in how some of these uh, leaders uh, described them. So what the military started to do is part of this containment policy is that they created containments based on the language that they spoke. While the African American who has been here longer and an American citizen is relegated because of the color of his skin, the immigrants were actually placated in the sense that they were sent to different places known as the, the Camp Gordon plan. And this Camp Gordon plan said that if you spoke a certain language, you went to a certain cantonment, and there you were trained how to become American by someone who spoke your language. The largest being in, in Camp Gordon, Georgia, but an example of this would be Camp Cody in New Mexico. All Spanish speakers were sent to Camp Cody in New Mexico, and this was predominantly the Mexican immigrant. And they were sent there, one, to become Americans, no longer aliens, to learn English, and to become Americans. So there was no segregation amongst this group except when they got to their unit and there was, of course, some old world animosity between Irish, British, Hungarians, and Romanians, and, and stuff like that. But for the most part, the immigrant was treated slightly better than the, the American citizen, African American, for uh, probably because they were of white background. So on January of 1918, the military decides to implement a plan known as the Camp Gordon Plan. And what this Camp Gordon Plan was to take is every immigrant, every major language group that's in the United States would have a place where they can be trained. Primarily, it was developed for the Eastern European immigrants, but also some of the Spanish immigrant was also, the, was also implemented in this group. Camp Cody in New Mexico was the place for all Spanish speakers. So any immigrant that spoke Spanish was sent to Camp Cody, New Mexico. There they were trained by leadership that spoke that language. And this was the case for Hungarian, for uh, Russian, for Lithuanian, and other major immigrant groups. Unlike the African American who was quickly pushed to the side and forced to, re to uh, participate in remedial labor, the immigrant was actually trained how to become an American according to the eyes of the leadership. Right? They were not Americans yet, but through this training in the Camp Gordon plan, they would become 100% American. Thus, their status changed from immigrant to American, now a member of the United States military. In other places, this immigrant was also not relegated when they got to their job position, something that the African American did not benefit from. But nonetheless, all these issues aside, in the summer of the first wave of American soldiers arrived to the Western Front in France, led by General Pershing, who had experience in the Philippines and experience in the Spanish-American War and was also the one tasked to chase Pancho Villa through the deserts of, of Sonora and Chihuahua. He was tasked in to implement this new Army Expeditionary Force in Europe. And the first group to come in, aptly named the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One, is now in France and the United States is now fully embedded in this new war. 